Hello. I have some hot questions that have been generated just simply by reading the One Year Bible this morning. Uh, we're starting on a new year. I opened up Matthew 1 and I'm struck, first of all, by a lineage. Now, to be honest, I've never gotten into reading lists or lineages or that kind of thing. I mean, reading through the book of Numbers was always what stumped me in terms of trying to get through the whole Bible. And yet, what I realized, what struck my heart this year, because of the passing of my father and anticipating the death of my grandfather, that the Bible takes generations and what we inherit from generations seriously. Which means that actually I could benefit from paying attention to the generations of my family. And I think I'm going to pay more attention to thinking about the history of my family. Hmm. And then along with that, I realize also God takes seriously the life that I have and what my children will inherit, or those after me will inherit. Hmm. Now, Jude actually uh, is going to have some reflections she's going to post about the women mentioned here, and I'm kind of curious what she's going to say. Um, I just know that they're not your typical outstanding women, but they are outstanding in the fact that they connected with the purpose of God for their time and generation. So that's the first thing. And then I'm thinking about, wait a minute, who's connecting with the purposes of God in this moment? Well, you have this poor couple, Mary and Joseph. You have a scandal Jesus being born and Joseph having to be the father to somebody else's child and not doing the divorce thing because of a dream, an angel showing up in a dream. Then you have religious leaders like all willing to give critical information about their coming Messiah to this man, Herod, who everybody fears but nobody trusts. And then you have these folks from a different religious tradition receiving revelation from God and that revelation getting them very close to Jesus. But first, that revelation causing them to land in the lap of Herod. And yet, God's still speaking to them in a dream and guiding them through this whole journey. Hmm, I'm not used to that either. I, there's a lot to think about in here. A little mind-stretching if you think, think about it. Then, wow, if God allowed himself to be born as a baby, vulnerable, and then ends up as an immigrant and a refugee, That's how God started. How should I treat immigrants and refugees? And what kind of respect? Anyway, all those things are stirring in my brain this morning. What's in your what's stirring in your thoughts?